Hello everyone, Derry here. And Ladarius. And welcome back to Verde Spin. Welcome back to the garden. Today, we're going to be putting in some beans. These are Kentucky Wonder whole beans. And we're gonna let them ride our little trellis here. And... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, we gotta, gotta plant the beans. <laughs> okay now pole beans themselves don't they prefer not to be transplanted so what's important is how you come from seed what you choose to germinate your seeds in what I've been doing what I did over the winter is I saved the toilet rolls and I saved the rolls from the paper towels I gave them a small cut, and this is what we're left with. We simply put them inside a, a round pot, put these in, lined them up all the way around, and this is what we have in the end. We don't have to transplant it. We don't have to take it out. We simply plant the whole tube, and it's cardboard. Within a few weeks, it'll be all gone and it'll be no more. So, with that said, let's get these dropped into the ground. Now, the holes are already dug and prepared, and Mr. Darius here is going to do the planting. One in each hole. We want to try to get that all the way in. We want to bury the whole road. This one's gonna be hard because the roots from the sage plants that we try to get. There we go, that's good. And the next one. There we go. Now keep going. Now it's always a great day. We can get the kids and the grandkids in the garden, and so they too can learn where their food comes from. Speaking of where the food comes from, we've all heard our president talk about the possibility of food shortages this year. With everything going on between the war in Europe, um, Chinese are on lockdown again with the big bug. There we go. Very good. With the big bug, and because of it, the ports are shut down again. Everything is backing up. Products are backing up again within the ports, and very little is getting through. And so, it just seems to make sense to me that if you have a little bit of space, and it doesn't have to be a lot. If you have just a little bit of space, grow what you can. At the very least, try and offset your grocery bills. Okay, I'll dig that out a little bit more. Now he's got them in here. I'm just going to dig a few of these out a little bit more. Oh, Nutty, what happened with that one? There's nothing in it. Oh. It's empty. There's nothing in it. We got to have something in it. Okay. See, look, the root structure of these bean plants is really, really healthy. There we go. Okay. I think I buried the bowl of food. Trying to make sure and get these dug all the way in so that gorgeous root system can work for us. These are really nice plants. Yep, they are. So what do you think about gardening? I think it's really cool because you get to grow your own fruit and vegetables. Oh, back to Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. These are 
all the way around. All the way around. Like I said, our little garden isn't big at all. Like I said, it's at best 15 by 20 with at least 18 inch rows in between each bed. There's only five, there's five beds here. Really works out just to be three uh, four by eight beds. I just have them separated. Um, not a lot of space, but over the over the last couple of seasons, we produced quite a bit of quite a bit of fruit and veg out of here, and that's also the plan this year, just to grow as much as I can and keep my little one here engaged so that he knows where his food comes from. There you go. That's the other one. As all of our kids, grandkids, should know where their food actually comes from. That it's grown. It's so easy to teach. Teach a child to put a seed in the ground and at the end of the day, you're really teaching independence. It's something that we all used to have. Simply by growing a garden, it's something that we can we can connect to again. You know there was two beans in that one, right? It's okay. Yeah, we're gonna let them go. See them? Yeah. See them? Yeah. All right. Very good job, man. High five. Very good. Now, I've been rambling. We put in these cold beans. There's eight of them here now. Maybe six, five or six or so left in there. I'll find a spot to plug them in somewhere. And okay. And we're just gonna keep growing as much as we can. Um, in either case, it's been dairy. And we're dairy. Thanks for dropping by. And thanks for spending a little bit of time with us. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications bell to get notified for our latest videos. And I struggle with that. See you next time, people. Bye for now.